What's going on everybody? In today's video, I wanted to show you my submission for the Enshrouded Architects of Wonder build competition. So without further ado, I present to you Riverwood Manor. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and kind of get started down at the very beginning of the pathwork. Um, so as you can see here, I plan on actually adding in some more uh, builds around the manor. Um, I think my next idea is some kind of, I would say maybe, what is it called? Uh, it's not a garden greenhouse that's what it is i want to come up with some kind of fantasy greenhouse <laughs> i've had a brain fart there but yeah so I'm, that's what i'm kind of thinking about is down in this particular area where it's a little bit flat i thought it would look very very nice especially up underneath this big tree and kind of just keeping some of the foliage that was already here um and just adding that in and kind of working my way all the way down to the bottom of this mountain so anyways um so moving on up the pathway i added quite a bit of fencing and some uh plants some uh nice firefly uh globes and all that and then moving on up to the very top around this tree because i really wanted to keep that in here is where you can start to see the house I went really heavy on the foliage um, and before we go on into the inside because that's where I did a lot of the detailing I wanted to walk around the outside first so let's do that what we're going to do is start down this direction first so add in a nice little fire pit area and I mean just look at the view it, you got the mountains you got the spires uh, the rebel wood spire and the springland spire so yeah I absolutely just love this location and this little bit of fire pit moving on further down this pathway kind of branches off in multiple directions this is where i place the garden so you can see here on the back side we have some plants and crops and all that planted here and then on this lower tier we also have again including the trees and all that some more plants so i went ahead and added some seed beds and the well moving on that direction will take us to the bottom of the house but we're not going to go there yet um, so moving back up you can see we're going to go right up through here and on the back side here i just added a nice table uh, coming out of the basement so let's go on around to the front so what drew me to this spot was the view and again the view so I'm hoping one day we can get over there to those mountains because I want to make a nice mountain build. Anyways, so here is the front of the manor and I, I just absolutely love it. It is heavily detailed, heavily foliaged and just overgrown, which is the theme behind this build. So my idea and the story behind this was that the house was being overran and taken over by uh, the Riverwood Forest. And the first NPC to move in would be the carpenter. So he could actually start to restore this manor, yet uh, keeping all the natural foliage and, and the overgrowth um, active. So that's exactly what I did. And then I slowly started bringing in the NPC. So let's go ahead and head on in. So up here we have some nice plants and we have a nice bench and all that. Just a little bit of outside decoration. So let's go ahead and move on in. This is where I'm most proud. I added so much detail and um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and zoom in on my character a little bit. And there we go. So let's close this door. Perfect. All right. So here we are at the main entrance. So we have our downstairs. We have our main level. We're going to stay on the main level, work our way up, and then we'll go down to the downstairs. So we have this nice little uh, landing area. Over here is our, our living room. Um, a little bit of backstory on this build. So I had it completely done, getting ready to submit it into the build competition. And then my game corrupted. I lost the whole entire world. I lost everything. And needless to say i went into a straight panic attack 
It was, you know, I've had been working on this build for three and a half weeks. I have probably over a hundred hours into this build. So needless to say, I was freaking out. And this was two days before the submission was due. After anything and everything I could do, I happened to stumble across an enshrouded file on my desktop. And lo and behold, it was a backup of my world. <laughs> so um, I uh, lost half of the build. The structure was here, but everything that I had done on the interior, all the decorations was completely gone. So I had to look back at some screenshots that I had taken, um, updating some friends and stuff of the build and uh, kind of look back at it and just remember what I did and, and, and how things were. So it's not exactly like it used to be, um, but it's as close as it's going to get. So uh, that's a little uh, story as to why when I posted everything on Twitter that I had a major panic attack, that is exactly what happened. So anyways, so as you can see here, I decided to take the dirt um, blocks and everything and just add like vines in a way that you know the the like i said that the story of the house was it was being overgrown so um that's exactly what you kind of see here is the vines kind of just growing up into you got plants still popping out of the floor and everything like that moving on into here i added a bathroom again nothing too special some plants it's small but quaint so moving on down we're gonna go ahead and go down this hallway so i added some nice arches again with the vines you'll see that throughout this build the further up we go the less you'll see kind of makes sense but um yeah so materials that we also use you'll see we got the highly polished stone we have the uh palm wood we got some uh Flintstone, I think I used like four or five different types of material in this build and they just mesh very well together. We use the fancy stone as well. So let's go down in here. This is probably one of my most favorite rooms and this is the dining room. It just looks homey while being overgrown. I know that's weird, it sounds weird, but that's exactly what I think it feels like. So moving on across, we have the kitchen so the original kitchen was similar to what i have over here on the right hand side the left hand side is different and i actually like the newer remake of the kitchen a whole lot better so this is the kitchen again you got a nice view out the windows got some clutter uh, you'll see a lot of clutter throughout this build and again the vines moving on down we have our uh, writing room our drawing room however you want to call it uh, i did plant a big tree on the outside it kind of grew in but it really and truly kind of just fits the theme of the house so i've got two different looks we got uh, the look to the uh, fireplace which i absolutely love this fireplace it turned out fantastic got some nice books and then you have another little sitting area where you can look out the window along with some plants so i think it turned out really really nice all right, staying on the first floor, the last part of the first floor is going to be our library. So yes, we have a library. We have tons of books. It's dark. It's, you know, probably not ideal for reading, but you know, I love it. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So we have our library. All right, so let's go ahead and move on up. So we have our nice little spiral staircase. The tower that you saw out front of the house and that you also saw in the thumbnail and some of the screenshots, the main part of that tower is going to be all of our stairs, except for the basement. So keep that in mind as we're going. One of the uh, cool features about this was like a, almost a tree in the original build uh, before I, you know, the game crashed, this looked so much different. It looked better than this. I couldn't replicate it, but uh, I really think that this turned out really cool. I did again was the tree growing up uh, out of this side of the house uh, or it was already here and it just the roots were just taking hold and then um, using the branches or vines or whatever coming off of it to actually hold the uh, firefly chandelier. So thought that was really cool. But this is kind of like the, the bar lounge area. 
I would say, of the, of the manor. Uh, I've got a nice bar here. Very minimal decorating on it, uh, but we do have some tables, a nice fireplace, again, an, a little uh, area where you can sit up underneath here, uh, the, the storage, which is what this is. I thought this would be a nice room for like some barrels and, and whatnot, and the tap room almost. And then on the outside here, you can actually sit out here. And again, another great view all around this build moving boat back on into the inside here we'll go down the hallway and out this door we have a nice little balcony covered just a nice little sitting area not too bad and then our first room we're going to go to the right and this is going to be our blacksmith's room so i know it's not a traditional like blacksmith being outside yes it's in the house um probably dirty but uh i wanted to include all the npcs in here because this is a base that i'll be using uh as i'm playing through the game um so we got a bed we got our smelters again a fireplace you'll see fireplaces in almost every single npc's room uh, our forge and all the upgrades and again some vines so i thought this turned out really really nice moving across the hallway and here is our carpenter so again we have a nice little area. He does not have a fireplace, um, but he's got a view just looking out there. So I, I decided to put a chair right here in front of this workbench, and I thought that would be a really, really nice place for that. Got a couple table saws. We got some kilns and uh, another workbench over there and some books. You never know. It's trying to hone its craft. Moving on down the hallway. Yes, down the hall we have hallway we kind of have some guest bedrooms and we have like this little sitting area with a fireplace um and, and obviously the vines growing everywhere but i thought this turned out really really nice and here is a bathroom it's very very plain nothing no decorations or anything in there and then on the very end we have a couple bedrooms on either side just like that all right so let's continue back down the build so let's go right on up the stairs and again so now we have a, a bigger room of the stairs a little landing i noticed uh, as i was placing this i did not close that gap in but that's okay it is what it is i'll remember next time so we've got a nice little bookshelf put in right here and we're going to continue up the stairs and here is our alchemist's bedroom uh, it's small, it's quaint, but I like it. His laboratory, however, is right up here at the very top of the tower. And again, there's no vines up here because I don't think vines would be growing quite this high up. Um, so that's why we're not really seeing them. You know, it, it, they, it could potentially happen. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think vines would grow up this high or not? So, uh, but yeah, this is a nice little laboratory. Everything's up here. Uh, there's rooms for some plants some potted plants and all that, which I could have probably added, maybe some bookshelves. Um, but again, you know, it was done and then I lost it. So let's move right back on down to the next level here. Wait, did we miss something? I think we missed something. It's not a bookshelf. It's a secret door. <laughs> so this goes into the attic. So, um, my idea behind this room uh, was uh, a scene from Indiana Jones where they were putting um, all the crates up in the big warehouse. So that was my idea and my thought behind this and just basically have a bunch of clutter where all the decorations that I've used in the house would potentially be kept and um, they could uh, come and grab them as needed. So. That's really what this area is. I, you know, just a bunch of barrels. I thought it was a kind of a cool idea. And then there's a door. Uh, not much in here again. Um, I had it fully decorated, but you know, it is what it is. So, but you got views, you got windows, which is, you know, it's nice. And some of the, uh, the roof uh, grass and all that growing in. I thought that was a really cool idea is to put this, put this hidden attic in. So, let's continue on down the build. 
And I think we need to head on down into the basement. Yes, we do. So down in the basement, here we are. So you'll see more vines, more plants, and all that down here. I use the firefly lamps as well to kind of bring the outside in uh, with the fireflies flying around it. So down here at the bottom of the landing, we have just a little sitting area. This is going to be where the farmer is located, down here in this area. Uh, another little sitting area. I thought it was really nice. And then in here is the farmer's bedroom. I think she is outside at this moment, probably looking at some plants. Who knows? But uh, again, a nice little fireplace here. A nice little cozy bed. It's shorter ceilings, but I think it turned out really, really well. Moving on down a little library area. This is where the flame altar for the house is located. Uh, I thought it was a good little spot. It's where I originally had put it when I started the build but um, I never ended up moving it because I just didn't want to. So anytime you spawn into the house, you're in the basement. Uh, and over here in this door, we have the farmer's bedroom. It's again, very low, got the vines, but it's nice and cozy. And then over here on this side, we have storage and lots of it. It's not filled, but you have storage. <laughs> so. Anyways, let's go ahead and, like I said, let's move on into the outside here. Here is where we came earlier. Uh, it looks like the farmer is not here at this time, but this is, again, the little balcony and the porch and all that. Moving on down and the uh, last NPC, again, another little secret door here. We're going to go even further underground. And here is the Huntress little laboratory and workshop and all that. I thought it was really, really cool being underground. Got tree limbs and all that growing into it. I just really like this little area. And then the last part of this, opening up this door and we're going to head into her bedroom. So here is the Huntress bedroom. Uh, it's so many different levels in this house. I really just really love this manor. Um, it's such a, a beautiful place and uh, I had a lot of a lot of fun building this uh, again she's got her own little porch area a little balcony and it's all tied back into where the farm and all that is so uh, as the evening is rolling around all of our lamps are starting to glow and lighting this place up it does look really good at night um, but that is the tour of Riverwood Manor. So I do hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building it. Um, I am going to be doing some more builds uh, very, very soon um, after this competition. I just need a little bit of a break, but I will be back with the next build. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a true build video. It's probably going to be another tour because it's just... I find it very hard to do building, true building videos in in Shroudham, but um, obviously some smaller ones I will do that. Uh, but these larger builds most likely will be house tours. But anyways, guys, I do hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit the uh, the like button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And we will see you in the next video again. Take care, guys. Bye bye.